So I want to share a couple of videos from CNN reporter Donny O'Sullivan. He often will travel around the country and he will attend Republican events and he'll speak with the participants of said events. So as you all know, not too long ago, Donald Trump held a rally in Alabama for some reason. And at this rally, he was famously booed because he encouraged his supporters to get vaccinated. Now, for him to be booed by his own sycophantic supporters, that shows you that the sentiment towards vaccines among conservatives is extreme. So, Donio Sullivan showed up, spoke to a couple of attendees of that rally, and it's not like what they said was surprising, but it still was incredibly entertaining, and the logic, or lack thereof, is just truly, um, it's bizarre. No, not getting that vaccine. No, 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 no. Then vaccines are not good, huh? Are you vaccinated? No, but I have a lot of hydrochloroquine and zinc at my house. So have you got your vaccine shot? Nope, don't want it. No? Wait. They ain't tested it enough, from my opinion. Yeah. The, the Pfizer shot is about to get full FDA approval. Would that change your opinion on it at all? Not until they do a whole lot more investigating in on it. Yeah. Nothing's going in me until then. Right. Do you think that would take a long time? About 10 years or so. What I don't is, trust what? the government. I don't trust C uh, CDC. I don't trust none of them. What is it about the vaccine? Because uh, I've watched Dr. T. Penny and she's done a lot of research on it. Dr. Sherry Tenpenny is a discredited conspiracy theorist who pushes dangerous misinformation about vaccines. I'm sure you've seen the pictures all over the internet of people who've had these shots and now they're magnetized. They can put a key on their forehead, it sticks. They can put spoons and forks all over them and they can stick. Those and other unhinged false claims landed Tenpenny on a list known as the Disinformation Dozen, super spreaders of COVID misinformation. These 12 people are out there giving misinformation. Anyone listening to it is getting hurt by it. It's killing people. It's bad information. But Tenpenny and others in the disinformation dozen are finding appeal among some Trump supporters. My own doctor tried to get me to get shot, and I told him to go watch Dr. T. Penny. So you trust this woman on the internet uh -huh. more than your own doctor? Uh-huh, I oh. do. To listen to the internet or to listen to, rather, th rather than the, the professionals, the scientists, the CDC, the FDA, if you look at the history of vaccine, it's been, again, the greatest gift we've ever been given. People today wouldn't be at any of these events. It, they would either have polio, they would have smallpox, they would have many other diseases. Vaccines have saved us. Trump came here to Alabama Saturday. It's the state with the lowest vaccination rate in the nation. And at the time of this rally, every ICU bed here was full. His timid suggestion his supporters should get the shot was met with jeers. And you know what? I believe totally in your freedoms. I do. You got to do what you have to do. But I recommend take the vaccines. I did it. It's good. Take the vaccines. But you got, no, that's okay. That's all right. You got your freedoms. But I happen to take the vaccine. If it doesn't work, you'll be the first to know. Okay. Trump got the vaccine though. Yeah. They keep saying that. I don't know that. I mean, I'm not fully convinced of that. You don't think Trump? Uh, I, it, huh? I don't think he did. Yeah. I really don't. In so many people's minds, so many people who don't want to get the shot, this is a Republican Democrat thing. Oh, absolutely. You know, we know. But but I will tell you, I don't personally see that that virus came over here on a donkey or on an elephant, and and it's affecting everybody. I watch Prophets of God and Newsmax and maybe a little Fox. That's about it. That's about it. Right. So that's where but you I've kind of turned away from news. I don't want to listen to it. I want to listen to what God's saying, what he's fixing to do. That's all I'm concerned about. I think it is this time where God is separating the sheep from the goats. What, you are, know, you, what are you? I am a, a, <laughs> I'm a goat because I ain't a sheep. I'm not doing what they tell me to do. Mm. I'm fighting against it. There is so much to say about that clip. I don't even know where to begin. So the first thing that really stood out to me is that lady saying she won't get the vaccine because they ain't tested enough, from my opinion. And I, like, I just wanted Donny O'Sullivan to ask her, so you say that they didn't test it enough? Are you an expert? Which medical school did you go to? You know, did you study epidemiology? Why do you think 
it hasn't been tested enough, even if the experts say that it has. They've proven that it's safe and effective. And even if you disregard everything that every single expert says, empirical data shows that the vaccines are indeed safe and effective. So what is it going to take to convince you that they've been tested enough? And she later says, oh, it's going to take like 10 years. Oh, okay. 10 years. How old are you? Like 70? 80? I mean, at your age, if you get COVID-19, it would be disastrous. So I don't think that you should take that gamble, right? I mean, you're either going to gamble with vaccines that you know are safe and effective, even if you don't believe that, or you can gamble getting COVID-19. You're not taking it seriously if you're showing up to rallies with lots of people, thousands of other people. So you're really playing a dangerous game and you think that you are being safe here and cautious when in actuality the opposite is true. But this goes to show you how powerful, you know, um, propaganda is. I'm sure she is drunk on Fox News Kool-Aid and Newsmax. And um, it's interesting. If you look at her, she was holding, I believe, a Mountain Dew. Like, does she know how much sugar is in that? For all of these anti-vaxxers who claim that they don't want to get the vaccine because they don't know what's in it, I mean, how many of you will purchase a meal from the store, some frozen food, and you don't know all of the preservatives that are in that, all of the shit that's listed in the ingredients? Like, we constantly consume things, we put things in our body that we, we don't know what they are. But for something like a vaccine, which now one of them has FDA approval, it's safe and effective. That's demonstrably the case. You can see it with your own eyes. It just, it, it doesn't make sense. It's like a double standard. Like, I'm sure she'll go eat at Burger King, uh, you know, uh, eat shitty foods. I'm sure that, you know, maybe she smoked cigarettes before. She'll put all these terrible things in her body. She'll show up to this rally for Donald Trump in a non-presidential election year during a global pandemic, but yet when it comes to that vaccine, can't take any chances. The logic here is totally fucked. And it's just, it's not shocking at this point though. Now, another lady, she said that she isn't gonna take the vaccines because of one quack doctor, Dr. Tenpenny, who literally claims that the vaccines are magnetizing people. Now, if somebody made such an outrageous claim that some medicine or, or something is making people become magnetic, I would think on its face, that's idiotic enough to dismiss that person entirely. But that's the only lady who that person takes seriously, Dr. Tenpenny. And the worst part about that is she basically said that her doctor told her to get vaccinated, but she said no. And she told him to go watch Dr. Tenpenny, this moronic quack doctor who's one of the biggest propagators of the spread of misinformation on all of social media. Like imagine you're a doctor, you, you've gone to medical school for years. You've been doing this for a very long time. Maybe her doctor has been doing this, practicing medicine for decades, and he's had her as a patient for 15, 20 years. Let's assume that that's the case. Imagine somebody being so bold that they tell you, you're wrong, actually. Go watch this YouTube video of Dr. Tenpenny. She's more uh, trustworthy than you. Like, imagine that. I, I would just, if I were a doctor, I would be so fucking pissed off. I would tell her to go fuck herself if that was my patient and I was a doctor. Like, it's so insulting. These imbeciles think that they know more and yet they think that they're so smart. I mean, this is proof of Dunning-Kruger, right? She said that uh, this is God separating the sheep from the goats. Yes, because, you know, when I think of individuals who subscribe to organized religion, I definitely think that that's a free thinker. Lady, you are stupid. You are a moron. And she talks about God, but in her mind, there's zero evidence for God, but that's fine but there's lots of evidence that the vaccines are safe and effective, but mm, that's not enough evidence. There's enough evidence to deduce that God is real though. And he's like actually talking to me. These people are just genuinely too far gone. They're genuinely stupid. And it, it's sad because they're gonna have to find out the hard way. Hopefully they get lucky. But when you attend these events with thousands of people who are also probably anti-vaxxers, I mean, you're playing with your life here, but that's, that's where we're at. People just are, we're to this point where they're going to have to find out the hard way. No amount of convincing them is going to make a difference. They're just going to have to get COVID and see it firsthand for themselves. And hopefully that doesn't happen. But I mean, that's, that's where we're at, right? Now, not to be too doomer, there were some individuals at this rally who actually did say something that gave me a little bit of hope. There's a big surge in, in COVID cases here in your county at the moment. 
Have you guys been vaccinated? Yes. Yeah. You both decided to get the vaccine? Yes. Uh, some Trump supporters have and some Trump supporters have. Uh, why, why did you guys ultimately decide to, to get the shot? Just felt it was the right thing to do. Yeah. Protection. Yeah. Um, Added protection. Do anything we can do to be protected. Yes. And do, do you have any friends or neighbors who decide not to take the shot? Have you tried to encourage any folks, you know, family to get the shot? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Try to encourage as much as we can. Yeah. You know, but you don't want to do so much. Okay. Credit where it's due. They got vaccinated and they're trying to encourage others to get vaccinated. That's great. Dare I say that it sounds like these Trump supporters were reasonable? I mean, I can't assume that they're too reasonable if they support Donald Trump and they're attending Trump rallies in a non-election year and they have all their MAGA gear. So there's a level of like stupidity in them because I think that to support Donald Trump, you're, you're inherently like flawed in the way that you think. And you're probably a bad person to an extent. Having said that, though, like the fact that they're pro-vax, I have a lot more respect for those two individuals than anyone else who's anti-vax. Like, I have more respect for those MAGA chuds than I do for some individuals on the so-called left who are pushing anti-vax conspiracy theories, calling them experimental, and then pushing uh, horse medicine. Now, Dhoni also attended another event and talked to other anti-vaxxers and some pro-vaxxers. Uh, this was the Iowa State Fair featuring Marjorie Taylor Greene. So let's listen to their reasoning as to why uh, some of these folks won't get vaccinated. Green brought her anti-science message to Iowa, repeating false claims about masks and vaccines. I'm completely against masks. They don't work. They're not stopping the spread of COVID. I'm also completely against forced vaccines. The vaccines are failing. What do you think of, of Green showing up here to the state fair? I, I think it's great. I think it's a, a great way to uh, get in touch with uh, the people of Iowa. Can I ask, have you been vaccinated? Uh, I, I have not been vaccinated. Would you consider getting the vaccine if, if more businesses, there's parts of the country now where you can only go into a restaurant if no. you have proof of a vaccine? No, no, I'm not, I'm not for that. This is America and we are a free country of free people. We have the right to decide what goes on with our bodies. I'm not vaccinated and I'm not gonna get vaccinated. Our days are numbered. It don't matter whether it's COVID or I get in that truck and go over down the highway and get hit by a semi or T-bone and killed. It don't matter, mm. you know? Life is what it is, you know? We take it how God gives it to us. But you wear a seatbelt, right? Well, of course. So in that but there's 50-50 like... chance that that'll save you or it won't save you. But isn't that sort of like taking a vaccine, you take the steps? Nah. To protect yourself when you can? No. No? No. I'm not taking the jab. What would it take to convince you to get the vaccine? Uh, I'm not sure that I could be convinced, but, you know, I'm open to uh, looking at, you know, scientific evidence, real scientific evidence, not just something they're spoon feeding everyone. He may be unable to be convinced, but these men got their COVID shots at the fair. Today was your first shot? Oh uh, yes, it's my first shot. And why did you decide to get it? I felt that uh, when I'm traveling and around other people and things like that, it, it wouldn't be uh, a very good decision that I were making on that one. We've had a lot of people stop and just talk to us. Uh, some we've encouraged and, and are, after the conversation, they've been willing to come in and get their vaccine. <laughs> Chuck Morgenstern and Vernon Hoover man the Magic Maze and Rock and Roll Funhouse here. They say their decision to get the shot was in part because the next fair they are going to require staff to be vaccinated and in part because they realized it was the safer thing to do. Had you any concerns about the vaccine? Well, I, I heard that other even though people have the vaccine, they still ended up getting COVID-19, so that was kind of a concern, but... Um, now that we're gonna, now that we're working the fairs and they're not, you know most of us don't wear a mask anymore and all this and that, so I wanted to be better protected. Everyone should go on, and if they haven't had the vaccine, they should go on and take it. When I'm back tonight, I've got to drop by the maze. See you guys. So I mean, we were left with a little bit of hopium there, right? Those men were convinced to get vaccinated because they want to protect themselves, but also because their employer said that they are going to start requiring vaccines. Look, vaccine mandates are effective, and I don't know that they're going to get us to a point where we reach herd immunity, but do we have a shot without vaccine mandates? I just don't think that we uh, we do. So right there is a success story of vaccine mandates, but also they you know, actually did 
agree that it was a good idea to get vaccinated. Now, some of the individuals in this clip were so insufferable. So one guy said that he won't get vaccinated because uh, this is a free country. Um, okay, except I agree, this should be a free country, free from a deadly, contagious virus. So by you refusing to get vaccinated, by you refusing to take necessary precautions to prevent the spread of this virus, you are taking away all of our freedoms. You're stopping all of us from getting back to normal because you're too stupid to do what is medically recommended. Like, I would love to go to a fucking restaurant again and not have to worry about the other people around me spreading COVID-19. I would love to go to a movie theater. I would love to do all of these things. But we can't do that so long as we are in a perpetual state of plague. And it's motherfuckers like you who are doing that. And for you to claim like, oh, you know, this is about freedom. That's why I won't get vaccinated. Okay, well, guess who uh, agrees with me? George Washington, who was pro-mandatory vaccines, right? So to pretend as if this is some newly authoritarian phenomenon, these people don't know anything. Now, the guy in the parking lot was talking about, look, Everything in life is a risk, basically. I'm paraphrasing. You know, you, you could get in the car and be T-boned and get killed. So what's the point of worrying about COVID-19? Might as well not get vaccinated. But then Donio Sullivan asked him, will you wear your seatbelt, right? And he says, yeah. I mean, you can just tell that they didn't think very deeply about this. It's just this like visceral response to medical experts and the thought of getting vaccinated it's this anti-intellectualism that permeates throughout the country it's um it's so frustrating to see this uh having said that though it's not shocking but i'm never not exasperated watching these anti-vaxxers like i never watch this and think well that's just the way it is like i'm always angered because these people are the ones who are holding all of us back these individuals are stopping all of us collectively as a society from reaching herd immunity and it's not as simple as getting everyone in america to get vaccinated because yes there are global inequalities as it relates to the distribution of this vaccine we have to vaccinate the world to prevent some new variant from emerging that is resistant to vaccines having said that though we can at least put a cap on covid 19 in the united states if everyone just did the commonsensical thing and got vaccinated. But uh, this is America. And, you know, m many people have succumbed to delusions and stupidity that overrides, you know, all common sense. So, uh, you know, I'm thankful to Donnie O'Sullivan for highlighting it for us and giving us this content. But I do feel sorry for him because there's no way he can enjoy talking th to this many idiots. I mean, this will be like draining and soul crushing but you know he still continues to press on and i give him credit for that i'll continue to show you his content because i think that what he does is a public service subscribe if you like this video folks mike's tremendous and he's doing a really really good job many people are telling me about how wonderful the humanist report is bigly